And it was a close call with Cubs third baseman Chris Bryan and, and Astros shortstop Carlos Correa. But in the end, you just can't look past Buxton's tools. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Baseball's top 100 prospects were unveiled on MLB Network on Friday night. And for the second straight year, outfielder Byron Buxton of the Twins organization tops the list. Right behind him at number two is third baseman Chris Bryant of the Cubs organization, followed by shortstop Carlos Correa of the Astros organization at number three. Even on a list loaded with talent, MLBPipeline.com's Jim Callis believes that Buxton is still a cut above the rest. You could argue on the entire top 100 list, he's definitely the fastest runner, and you could argue that he's the best hitter, has the best outfield arm, and he's the best outfield defender on the entire list. The Red Sox continue their aggressive bullpen makeover on Friday, reportedly coming to terms with free agent reliever Alexi Ogando on a one-year deal. Over 156 appearances between 2010 and 2013, including 48 starts, the 31-year-old righty compiled the 3.12 ERA and was named an All-Star back in 2011. But Ogando's last two campaigns have been marred by a variety of injuries, including shoulder inflammation last season, which limited him to just 27 appearances, posting a 6.84 ERA. The Braves and veteran Johnny Gomes have finalized a one-year contract as the well-traveled outfielder will join his sixth major league club. The 34-year-old will likely be part of a left-field platoon and a pinch-hitting specialist versus left-handers, against whom the righty has a lifetime average of 277 and an OPS of 861. Gomes has reached the postseason in four of the last five years with three different clubs. On Thursday, the Phillies officially announced the signing of veteran starter Chad Billingsley to a one-year deal. The 30-year-old was limited to just a dozen innings pitched in 2013 before missing the entire 2014 season due to elbow injuries. But prior to that stretch, he posted double-digit wins every season between 2007 and 2012. MLB.com Phillies reporter Todd Zalecki says that Billingsley could provide some valuable insurance if the team parts ways with some of their marquee starters. I think that was a big part of this signing. You know, they, they are definitely still trying to trade Cole Hamels. They are, they're trying to trade Cliff Lee, who honestly will be harder to trade until he shows that he proves that he's healthy. They don't have much depth in the farm system right now, guys that can step up and pitch in the big leagues, so they wanted to have some protection. For more on these stories, including the Rockies' acquisition of pitcher David Hale from the Braves, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.